Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. And we got the game of the day here in the 4 p.m. window. We got Rams versus Cowboys. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. Source. Hey, get the source. All right, Dallas on the road out in LA line opened up Rams minus six and a half, but everyone's on Dallas early. In fact, by Tuesday morning, this line's all the way down at four already. But once it gets down to four, the books start taking Rams money. In fact, they're taking Rams money all week. Um, and the line climbs back up. We're looking at Rams minus five and a half now as of Saturday night. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be Rams plus 0 0.8. So basically Rams plus one. So a pretty solid lean on the Cowboys here. So let's break down this matchup and we'll start with the elephant in the room. This horrible mismatch, the Rams banged up, struggling offensive line against the elite Cowboys defensive front. Rams offensive line is just 29th in adjusted sack rate, just 23rd in adjusted line yards. And they're missing two pieces in this game. They're gonna be without their center and their right guard. In case you haven't been watching much football, this Dallas Cowboy pass rush is out of this world. Micah Parsons on one side, Marcus Lawrence on the other. Uh, it's been basically unstoppable. The Cowboys pass rush is pretty much first in almost every single defensive category. Basically, the Cowboys have been winning football games on the backs of their pass rush. I don't see any way where Matt Stafford's not under a crazy amount of pressure in this game. And that's the last thing Stafford needs right now, man. He's really struggling to start this season. Stafford leads the NFL with six interceptions. He's also bottom 10 in the league in passer rating and passing touchdowns. And I know a lot of people are blaming him on the offensive line, saying Stafford doesn't have time to work, but that's not really the case. In fact, check this stat out. Matt Stafford is actually sixth in the NFL in QB rating when under pressure. He's 24th in the league thrown from a clean pocket. Five out of the six Stafford interceptions have come from a completely clean pocket. So you can blame the offensive line all you want, and yeah, it's been bad, but in reality, Stafford has also been bad. Now, what about when Cooper Rush and the Cowboys have the football, though? Obviously, we love the Cowboys defense matchup against the Rams. You gotta love that. But what about the other side, the Cowboys offense? Definitely some question marks there. The Cowboys offense is actually surprisingly decent. I mean, 12th in pass DVOA, 13th in rush DVOA. The offensive line is definitely an issue, but it's overperformed as far as what we were expecting. The Cowboys offensive line has actually been protecting Cooper Rush pretty well. Seventh in the NFL in adjusted sack rate, going up against a Rams defensive front that actually ranks 25th in defensive adjusted sack rate. Now there are negatives about this Cowboys offense. One, the rushing game. Even when Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard are both active on the field, uh, the Cowboys don't have much of a run game. By the way, Tony Pollard may not play in this game. He's questionable. Combine that with the fact that the Rams' greatest strength this year by far has been their defense against the run. I mean, they're third in the NFL in run defense DVOA. So I don't really expect the Cowboys to be able to go into LA and run at all. Also, the Cowboys offense has just been laugh out loud bad on third downs, converting just 30.2% of their third down attempts. Uh, that's 30th in the NFL. Cowboys just awful on third downs. But you wanna know who else is awful on third down? The Rams defense. They rank 27th in the NFL in third down conversions against. So again, like we find a Cowboys weakness and the Rams are weak there too. So it's, it's really tough to find some value there for LA. Look what happened to the Rams the two times they played an elite pass rush this year. Buffalo and San Francisco, they got completely scraped in both of those games. The Buffalo Bills did not blitz once that entire game. The 49ers blitzed a shitload. The point being, if you have an elite pass rush against this Rams team, it doesn't matter if you're sending extra rushers or just sending your front four, they're going to be out of sorts. Also, there's gonna be a ton of Cowboys fans at this game. Uh, the Cowboys training camp facility is right there outside of LA. There's a ton of Cowboys fans in Los Angeles. So it's gonna feel like a bit of a home game for the Cowboys. So I'm definitely taking the points here. I'm on the Cowboys. Give me Dallas plus five. Let's lock that in. Let's go Big D. If anything changes, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you want the final NFL ticket I do with the bet of the day, parlays of the day, top seven bets, that kind of stuff, head over to uh, kylegrams.com or download the Sauce Network app. NFL Sunday, week five. Let's have ourselves a good day. I'll talk to you on Twitter.